by his grace for our lesson today uh, we are going to read from uh, the gospel by the apostle Matthew chapter 7 verses 21 to 27 Matthew 7 21 to 27 Chapter 7, verses 21 to 27. 21 to 27. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me. You who practice lawlessness. And therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house in the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. Amen. All right. The title for our lesson this morning today is uh, Examine Your Christianity Today. Examine Your Christianity Today. And uh, from Second Corinthians thirteen five, where... The Holy Spirit is reminding us or warning us anyhow we say it, but he says, examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves. How that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates. So, this is a call by God that every Christian, anyone who says he's a Christian, should examine. Examine is uh, similar to judging ourselves or um, testing ourselves to determine. But testing is fine, all right, but then here he is using examine, which means when before we go and do something, we need to determine whether what we have uh, learned or whether we have uh, been proficient or we've done anything that is uh, in accordance with what has already been done. So in this case, when we go back to the proclamation, we can find what we are trying to talk about in this uh, topic, and that is examine myself to determine whether or not I am daily living in faith in Christ Jesus, my Master, and that I should prove my obedience to you on my own by your grace. In addition, Holy Father, you caution me to determine whether or not I realize that my Lord Jesus Christ is in me unless I am a reprobate. So uh, in some translation, they change it and said unless I'm disqualified in any way. But uh, one can say disqualified. That's the, King J uh, the New King James says uh, disqualified. But uh, why should we examine ourselves when we are already Christians? Well... God wants us to be perfect. God doesn't want us to be fake. God doesn't want us to be false. God doesn't want us to assume that, oh, I am in heaven when uh, in actual fact I am going the wrong way. Why is that? We see that when we read Matthew 7, 
21 to 27, we also realize what the Lord Jesus Christ said. He said, not everyone, Matthew 7, 21, not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So this helps us to know that Christianity is not an express road that you just uh, get on it and then you are going and you, are, you don't have any stops, you don't have any toll, you just keep going. No, there are stops, there are uh, uh, traffic that you have to, traffic signs that you have to obey and all that. So you need to follow what God's word has said. Otherwise, you are not qualified 